Medicine routinely used to treat back pain and joint swelling. Seven people in the Midwest and in the South are suffering complications after being injected with the drug. Health officials are on the case because this particular medication already has a controversial history. Here's ABC's Susan Salney tonight. The Food and Drug Administration is focusing a new investigation on this small pharmacy in West Tennessee, the Main Street Family Pharmacy. Health officials say seven patients developed skin abscesses after being treated with a possibly contaminated injectable steroid made at the pharmacy. The FDA is recommending that doctors immediately stop using any sterile drugs distributed by the pharmacy. They say it's too early to tell how many people may have been injected with the drug. It's already been shipped to at least 13 states, from California to the Carolinas. They shouldn't be in business if they're doing that. None whatsoever. When you're talking about somebody's health, that's serious. The steroid in question, methylprednisolone acetate, is the same drug at the center of last year's deadly outbreak of fungal meningitis, which killed 55 people and sickened more than 700. Those cases were linked to one pharmacy in Massachusetts. Now, there's no hard evidence yet that these drugs from Tennessee are contaminated, but until an investigation is complete, officials are treating them as hazardous.